If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget, click that bell. Also, I can't wait to read this story with you friends. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello friends, let's go. Wimbley Worried by Kevin Hinks. Wimbley worried about everything. Big things? I just want to make sure you were still here. Little things and things in between. Mama, what if I shrink? Wimbley worried in the morning. She worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wimbley worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wimbley worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And always, she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? Petal's lost forever. I found her, sweetie. I'll wait for you, Petal. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father. There was nothing to worry about. But then, Wimberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry. School. Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? 
What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. Have fun. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wimberly, there is someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peachum, as the students walked out the door. Wimberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry.